Good morning, X-Wing players. Welcome to the second SoCal X-Wing Hyperspace Trial coming to you live, well, not so live, from Addie's Games in sunny uh, Miramar, California. I'm your host, Michael Deegan. Joining me is... Trevor Betts. And we join you um, uh, with round one already in progress. We have uh, two of our good friends, Matt P. on the left and uh, Brent S. on the right. Uh, and we'll start uh, giving you their list real quick. Matt's flying uh, four uh, Resistance T-70s. Uh, one of them, Jessica Pava with uh, BB-8 uh, integrated S-foils. And then three Red Squadron experts, with uh, all with Heroic and integrated S-foils. And Br uh, Brent has... Uh, Brent's running six Trade Federation drones with energy shells and munition failsafe, and then Captain Sear with uh, Kraken on board. Yeah, his list extends uh, off the bottom and behind uh, the symbol for the store there. Let's see if I can kind of get that out of the way there for you for the second. There you go. So we got a bit of an interesting situation today. Uh, we are downstairs, and everybody uh, playing X Wing is upstairs. So. Um, when we go and get a damage update for you, we're going to get our exercise on. Hope you appreciate it. Um, these lists are going to dance around a little bit before anything happens, so not too much uh, going to happen right now. Now, we got 40 players today, right? Yep, 40 exact. 40 exact. They're trying to get this tournament in, in all in one day, so they chose to do 40. Uh, they're going to cut to a top eight this evening. Thank you, sir. Ooh, thank you. And our uh, T.O. Colin has just given us some swag. A very nice Ray alt art. With the gunner and everything. Right? That's nice. Nice. So Brent turning his uh, drones towards the middle there. Being on the receiving end of six energy shells, not fun. Oh man, cheating already. That's a point. <laughs> yeah, this is the first uh, major event in SoCal after the four rules were released. And f way four. And way four, yep. Brent's made a top four at SoCal Regionals last year, I believe, or mm -hmm. top eight. And one of the two with. Uh, Quick draw, and then two silencers. One of the first ones with that list. Right. That was quick draw and two silencers in first edition. Mm -hmm. And that's been running this list for a few weeks, right? That is correct. It up. Actually went down with the new points change, so he was able to fit BB-8. T-70, very solid chassis just just on his base stats mm -hmm. and heroic just give you that little bit of protection against a complete yes. complete failure yeah they're very consistent like they, they survive mm -hmm. really good <laughs> both uh, both jousting lists and the, you know but the thing is you know what they say about when two people joust one of them's wrong so Who's going to be wrong here? Matt's got the initiative. Brent's got the numbers. What does Sears' ability do again? That's a good question. Let me see if this uh, fancy schmancy thing will put it up on display for us. No. I think it's A. There you go. There you go. Oh, so it's a... So it's a defensive one. Friendly ship may spend one... No, it's a crack oh, shot. It's a cancel. Oh, it's a crack shot. I see, okay. Cancel one evade result. That's pretty good. Because you're going to want to bring Kraken in a swarm list anyways. The Seer's ability doesn't cost you too much. Right. Matt not rushing in, that's for sure. 
So I was up there earlier, and I saw that we pretty much had the the best and the brightest of uh, X Wings, uh, SoCal's X Wing talent, mm-hmm. and also the Minox. <laughs> Uh, D. Yoon's up there and his son and uh, Ryan Corner Case Frost uh, Mitch Potshot Rob um, I think Steven Gonzalez showed up but I think it was a little bit too late Oh really? Yeah I saw him walk up I think he hit traffic or something Oh no he was here when I got here He was here when you got here? Yeah, oh, yeah, okay. yeah. Uh, Smoke Squad War, uh, Warlock Squadron brought four people, I want to say. Yeah, I'm, uh, Mitch Hurst. Mitch Hurst, uh, Enrique. I'm looking for uh, Enrique to do well today. Because he's, he's made top eight, top four. Mm-hmm. Uh, Next is top two. Mm-hmm. Uh, yeah, and, you, and you were saying Mitch Hurst, uh, he, did, he did something in Denver, I don't know. Yeah, I may have made final table. I may have made final table. Final means last, right? <laughs> so hopefully the if background noise isn't uh, isn't a problem, we've got a, a netrunner tourna- tournament we're cohabitating with. And I, I can't I can't tell them to be quiet because they outnumber us. So you think they'll just joust, try right? just go right through the middle? That's uh, that's a lane that they're lined up on. I mean, yeah. I don't see any of them. In a turn away or anything. They both want it. They look a ghost. Gonna have boost now. Barrel. I don't believe they have a boost. They have a very convenient um, calculate link into barrel or barrel into calculate. I think he's trying to line up the bullseye. Oh yeah. Which if he gets bullseye on a few of these ships here, I think it's gonna make the joust. Uh, so much more favorable for him. Because heroic is good, but it's not good when you roll like blank focus. You spend your focus, but then you crack it anyways or sear it, I guess. Mm-hmm. Is he bumping? <laughs> I think they're discussing if it bumped or not. It looked like it bumped. Maybe not. How do you like the new wave? I've been having a lot of fun with that transport. That thing's got a lot of potential. Uh, I've been using uh, Covenel with Leia um, on it, and it can just and um, see a tally and. Oh. Mm-hmm. And uh, gets up to some really interesting shenanigans. You haven't tried too much of the actual ships. I've been trying out like the Corsello crew on the Falcon and mm-hmm. uh, some of the upgrade options. But the, the pod, I can't really think. Like there's Finn pod, but I haven't had a chance to test them out yet. I did try the N1 with Anakin uh, as a pilot. That's a lot of fun. Spinning is always this a good basic, trick. I was going to ask, <laughs> did you did you actually try spinning, and is it in fact a good trick? <laughs> it is very much so. So 
I really like Munitions Failsafe. This is like the one case that I actually like. Munitions Failsafe with energy shell charges. Uh -huh. Makes it so they don't have to spend a turn uh, disengaging to recharge energy shell. That kind of like just blinked out. So, with Brent coming in, do you think Matt's going to go like four forward uh, and get as close as he possibly can? Because he benefits, like, Brent's benefiting if they're at range three with all the shots, whereas Matt wants closer. Wants to closer. It depends on whether Matt foresaw Brent doing this four, like he, the four forward, like he's doing. Mm -hmm. um, I'm I'm guessing Matt did a one bank Think so. to the right down towards us. Looks like a four forward. Yep. Oh, wow. So I wonder if he'll boost. They don't have boost into focus, right? That's just on the... There's a T-70 with the yeah. S-foils closed. Yeah. Um, well, that's interesting. Uh, now, will he still go over that piece of terrain with Jessica there, or is he going to slow roll with her? Oh, hmm. Hmm. I wouldn't be too surprised. There's a bunch of attack dice on one or two of them. Try to kill it. No mods, but I think he'll just waste a T70 if he stays back. Well, if he'd done a one bank, I don't know that all those droids would have had a shot this time. Oh, true, yeah, the back ones would have. Three banks out of the other two, maybe? So, uh, BB-8 to barrel roll, Jessica. Doesn't look like we'll Doesn't look like he's going to clear. Yeah, maybe. Okay. Nice. 
this might be a case where he just keeps Jess back because he would be out of the range of the far two, I think. Mm -hmm. Yeah, double mod. So one charge off of BB-8 there. Is our audio on? Mm -hmm. Uh-oh, someone moved the camera. Uh-oh. Can we move it back? Sure. Is this still good? I bumped it. Still good? A little bit. Like, I'll come up and fix it. Oh, that looks good. Good enough for that. Yep. So he rolled a what? Hit, hit, crit? Did he do any damage? I don't see any damage cards out. Two uh, hits. Hit, crit from somebody. Looks like Brent spins uh, calculate. On one hand, once you get to a certain point and you spend enough of the make them spend enough of the calculate tokens, that's an energy shell that's not coming at you. True. They have to spend to fire the shell, right? No. They just have to oh, they have, have to have one. Okay. They can spend it to change a calculate into a crit though. But that's a May, so it, uh, if you go against like selfless ships, you don't have to. Um, so it looks like somebody's taking some damage. Oh maybe natty out. And uh, just to folks at home, sorry, I don't think I've had enough caffeine to track a droid swarm and damage on them, so. <laughs> I don't have uh, Dio Morales' color stickers and <laughs> filthy Patreon dollars. So I think he's debating which calculates to spend. Right. the last shot so if he knows he's not gonna lose anything but is he risking a crit yeah no no I guess not just takes two damage still get to shoot that's probably right call then I was thinking there was a crit on me does seer get the ability to do calculate network calculations um, he might Got a calculate token. Oh, it's from Kraken. Okay, Kraken so he, gives him the calculate oh, action. Oh, he, he calculated earlier yeah. and, and and held on to it. Okay. So as well as holding on to the calculates, Kraken gives that action. So he just the first first action you do. I see. All right. Kraken's good. Still 10 points, right? I think we're going to go down a bit. All right, Brent's doing some energy shells. Or range one, it looks like. Depending on who he's firing at. I'll probably fire at the close one, save the energy shell. Right. And get three dice all up and down the line. Mm -hmm. Just going to use the back guys, calculate two. Hmm. 
one evade, one shield, two shields. A good roll. Brent has been rolling a lot of paint. Oh, he's going to check for. I think there's two symbols out there. Things like hit to focus. Let's calculate tokens are draining away. Hmm. Oh, then he's also got cracking to think about too, who he wants to have their calculates on. Did that guy have bullseye? No green screen. Guess not. I only see one symbol there. Yeah, I don't know why he's... Oh, he's debating if he did an energy shell charge, he's debating whether munition fail safe. Ah, yeah. Yeah, it looks like he did. So, cancelled it all. So the next wing's lost three shields. That's got some pain on it. Spending calculate off of uh, Captain Sear. <laughs> and another one off one of the trade droids to make that three. Matt rolls one of eight, takes a hit crit. I guess the last range one shot without any, without any mods. I guess you could use a calculate in another friendly ship. So that's a nice roll. Spend one more calculate. So he's going to take another crit at the very least. Two evades. Nice. He takes a crit. Wait. Yeah, no. That guy had bullseye. There. It, there it is. Uh, I'll go. Uh, we'll call that this guy here. <laughs> and one, two, three. One, two, three, four. Yeah, that must and have been. And I'm gonna go see what crit he got just for you know, fun. Yeah, it must have been that first guy with the primary shot. He used the calculator over there, but he had bullseye. Right. I'll be right back.
All right, so they're almost ready to go here. All of Brent's ships are stressed. They don't quite like doing the bank move, so this will be interesting. Maybe just a bunch of two straights. All right, first one is up. So none of them have calculates left. Did a uh, three hard. Interesting if this fits here. It's gonna be a good block if he can uh, manage it. Quite sure if he'll fit. I guess they know it won't fit, so he's screwing it up as much as he can. Oh. Let's see. Nah, I don't think it does. Well, I guess it does. So he's stressed. But uh, in perfect position to block. This guy does a too hard clearing stress, but he's gonna bomb. Maybe not. It's not. I guess too. Uh, this guy could spend his turn reloading his energy shell charge if he has it spent. I guess not. Calculate for his other guys' actions. Okay, what I miss? Uh, well, the front guy did a three hard, and I guess just barely cleared. Mm -hmm. And then the other guy did a two hard, clearing his stress, and then calculating for his friends to use. And then I'm not sure what they're discussing. I think maybe he set the wrong dial on a couple of them, and now he's realizing halfway through. Oh dear! They did the wrong ones. But I'm not. I'm not exactly sure. They're all kind of facing the wrong direction now. Well, I, they have a bit of a funky dial, and he, his whole formation was stressed. He may have had to. Yeah, because he couldn't do any that. banks. I was thinking he was just gonna go too straight. Mm -hmm. uh. <laughs> be a nice turn if like the T-70s and Jess like turn the other way to try to <laughs> run away. Uh -huh. Thank you. 
That one T70 is in a bad spot. He'll probably right get up front. Yeah, he'll probably get blocked by something. I'm wondering if this one in the back, whether it's going to track over that piece of debris it's on again or not, mm -hmm. whether it'll get in action. If Matt just did one one strace with those two, they should not take much fire this turn. Mm -hmm. They'll be in a pretty good spot. And, and all his, his entire list is uh, I3. Mm -hmm. There's a pilot skill three now. Uh, so you can move, in, move them in any order. So let's see what we got. So it looks like that T70 tried for the 4K. It's going to get blocked. Oh, that's bad for him. So it looks like Brent's chips are all the same color scheme. So that means he bought... Because before you could do the, like, the big pack and then a couple little pack, but they'd be different color scheme. Also bought a bunch of the single packs. He's also got, match, got matching blue dials. Mm -hmm. Well, Brent is a stylish individual. It always bothers me when I have like a list with different colored schemes. I so get. I, I'd probably do the same thing. <laughs> I get absolutely, perfectly, reasonably upset that I don't have colored medium bases. <laughs> For my dual fire spray list. <laughs> Having like Jedi's only Anakin and Obi-Wan paint scheme, that bothers me. Yeah. And it's FFG, you leave money on the table. <laughs> Don't let Disney hear. <laughs> Just with the one forward. And I think the one in the front's the one that has all the damage on. <laughs> and it looks like it doesn't hit the gas cloud. So do you focus here, or do you target lock? Because I don't think that guy's getting any shots. You just focus, save it for later if you don't use it. You mean target lock? Yeah, I think yeah. so. The thing is, if Jess can just one or kill it, and then the target lock gets wasted. Wrong hole. Wrong hole. You have to find the Okay. I guess the problem earlier is, was, I guess he has two of the Belbelub dials, and so he's got to go find his other dial. Oh. So right now they're on pause until he can find it. Well, Matt, if you just killed one of those droids last round, we wouldn't be having this problem. So I believe this is Matt's problem. Yeah. Matt's fault. It's all Matt's fault. Yeah. It's important in any event to find a scapegoat early and be <laughs> consistent about assigning every and all blame to them.
So to be honest, I thought Netrunner was like a dead game, but I guess not. It was like 50 people here. I just I just don't know anything about it. It's got great art. Mm-hmm. I think they did like a 2.0 just recently too. But I thought like FFG lost the license or something. But two huge tournaments today at the store. So Brent is obviously slow playing. <laughs> he purposely left one of his dials in his car and delaying time, taking advantage of Matt being a nice guy, not asking for extra time on the clock. Obviously, this should be three penalty points. Brent, that was Trevor Betts that said that about you. <laughs> How do you like the new environment cards? I I like them. They're kind of like um, if if they're what I, if they're gonna be what I think they're gonna be something that's not quite as extreme as like objective play, mm-hmm. but changing it up from the basic dogfight, giving a little extra uh, variety to to a match. Uh, we I wonder if we'll see it in in competitive. Uh, anything. Well, like it reminds me of the Rivco series where it's like the obstacles change, but like the core of the game stays. Mm-hmm. So I kind of like that. But one thing I noticed, like, there's the asteroid shower one that they came out with. And so you start with three asteroids on the table mm-hmm. and you have nine total. And each player, each round, places one. And uh, so you just bring vultures with uh, grappling struts and you make a bridge and you just walk into your opponent each turn. <laughs> um, Trevor, you are two-time Rivco champion. Am, am, am I correct? I am a two-time Rivco yeah. champion. Way to work that in. <laughs> <laughs> Looks like... Uh, are we back in action here? Let's see what All right, now they're well, we're rolling some fire. dice. One hit. <laughs> Uses his buddies, calculates. Oh, hmm. one away from heroic. If only. That always feels really bad. Well, oh, because there's only one friendly ship. That's right. So hit crit. And Brent rolling a lot of paint. Take that, guys. Yeah, he's not shooting at anybody. And uh, looks like that's... Was that the same one who was damaged earlier? So still not dead. I'm going to take some damage off of this guy so we can get a more accurate representation of the points. Tick, tick. Alright. Uh, bell Blub. Tons of stories. Matt gets one. Takes two. <laughs> Matt's T70 is just melting in front of this droid swarm it feels like looks like two hits there one evade one more shield this guy right in front with bullseye range one not good so spends a friend's calculate for two, and he'll crack shot at that, I'm sure. So that takes hit, crit. Let me go see what that is. If you want, yeah. So.
So it looks like um, those were the uh, the few shots that uh, Brent was able to get. Uh, they certainly he certainly made them count, but most of his ships didn't have shots. It looks like only two. Netrunners, we will start in about ten minutes. Looks like only about two of the uh, Trade Federation droids actually had shots. Damage sensor array. So for only getting two shots, Brent got a lot out of them. Mm -hmm. Now, Jessica Pava is known as the Great Destroyer mm -hmm. because she's known for wrecking droids. Yep. There's six of them in front of her. <laughs> Where's the wreckage? Well, I think specifically Astromix. Oh, yes, because that's the name they granted her, right? Yep. She'd go out on a mission and the droids don't return. Mm-hmm. You know who else went out and got his droid shot up? Luke yeah. Skywalker. Yeah, Luke, Luke Skywalker is a murderer. Uh -huh. He killed more people than Darth Vader. And so casually and cruelly, like, I'm just going to 360 no-scope this exhaust port. He's so cruel, they celebrated after. Right? They, He's all partying. Yeah. Like, Darth Vader never went out and partied afterwards. Mm -mm. That was a smart idea by Brant, putting the colored uh, tape or whatever on the... To, ma cards. to match his dials, yeah. Yeah. Well, with uh, with the new mechanics, re you know, emphasizing the fact we got to put the dials back by the cards, it helps him get things back. Yeah. Kill the mic for a second while these gentlemen talk. So, some fancy flying from Brent there, doing a one hard with that uh, with that droid, not bumping. So we're having some uh, model malfunctions here. So one K. A one K. 
for the block probably. And we'll probably see a couple hard turns on these guys here. Oh yeah, since he couldn't find it, he's using the dial app the dial until one of the guys um, dies here. Too hard out of this guy. So these guys get to hold on to calculate tokens from the previous round and borrow from each other. It's, gas clouds really don't mean that much. It's like a bunch of little Jedi. You got like force built in almost. Self-blocking himself. Hmm. Trying to grab a trailing shot on that uh, X-wing. Mm -hmm. Looks like he got as far as he might have wanted. That X-wing is stressed though. Tried to K turn last turn, didn't work out, so he's not going to be doing it again this turn. Um, ones and two banks and straights, three straight. Having met, seen Matt fly this list quite a bit, I know he won't necessarily. try to clear the stress if he had a shot but I don't think he did so he probably will I mean if there's something off to the side he might have done a, too hard to try and go for it mm -hmm. and uh, that droid there just gonna uh, calculate for a friend We got Oh, yeah, he did it too hard. That's uh, white on him. It's white, right. So he won't be able to clear the stress and clear the crit. Trying some harder maneuvers, it doesn't look like it's going to work out for him that well. Get in block right there. Well, 
Well, they just made a big old mess. I'm not a fan of bumper car X-Wing. Yeah. Well, that's what happens when both lists, or both sides of the table now bring in four to six ship lists. Yeah. And people will wonder why, like, games go to time. It's because just it takes longer each turn. You know what really slows down a game, though? What? When, when your T.O. comes over and smashes your decimator. Yep. That'll really just... Because then you just got to, like, internalize it and, like, deal with the shock and the grief. That T.O. should be uh, disqualified from yeah. judging any tournament. That's what I'm saying. He probably got paid big bucks for that tournament, too. I hope not. So hit, focus, blank, blank. Oh. Matt's dice are as cold as Brent's are hot. You kingdom okay. focus token. <laughs> This guy's got bullseye for sure. The Sears effect work on himself? I believe so. Mm -hmm. Oh, friendly ship. Mm, okay, nice. We might as well just leave this up. We brought it up three times so far. <laughs> You can tell we play a lot of uh, separatists. I do. I have just like the one of everything. Mm -hmm. I couldn't do a swarm. Yeah. One evade. One hit, one evade. If you do not wish to be free, please let us know. Looks like that one's getting a range one. On the damage X Wing. Maybe not a range one. Two damage cards and that right, guy's dead. Yeah, that was range one for sure. Maybe he just forgot to throw. Range one doesn't matter, he's dead. Now take it all back. Redo the attack. Brent's uh, yeah, he gotta reroll, he gotta reroll. Brent's I don't need I don't need all my dice, I don't need all my dials. <laughs> I got this. Easy. Easy game, easy life. <laughs> Range two, take only one symbol. It's evade. Oh, Siri, you have to spend the calculate? No, it doesn't. As for the fourth time we bring up the card. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Spain. Oh, okay, yeah, I see. Okay. That probably should be. Oh, okay. I calculate for an additional damage is worth it. Yeah. Like every time. And it's zero to three. I'm mad if you would blow up Captain Sear, we wouldn't have to keep bringing this thing up. <laughs> yeah. uh, someone's stress token, we don't know. Oh, the 1k turn guy.
Ren deciding which of his three Calculate tokens he wants to keep around. So he still is a dial short because Brent hasn't killed anything. I mean, uh, Matt hasn't killed any of Brent's ships. Matt should just let Brent borrow one of his dials. I think Matt should borrow some of Brent's dice. Yeah. Matt, ask to, ask to share components. Do it. <laughs> So I think Brent's pretty much got this game. I don't see, unless Matt can start one-shotting some ships, but we got maybe a turn. There's only been like three turns in this game. Right. Even if he shoots and blows up three droids, besides the one that's damaged, He's still behind on points. Yeah. He needs to uh, Sears, kill two droids a turn uh, and have at least two turns of that. Yeah. While Brent does nothing in return, I don't see it happening. Um, but who knows? That's the new dial cover. The blue wave. one? Or no, right oh, there. the phone? Yeah, Wave 7. I'm not a big fan of the new dial shape. Yeah. Maybe it's so that they can use the same dial cover for those Armada or uh, Epic damage and shield indicators. Oh, yep. What do you think of the new Epic? They haven't released too much info on it, but... There's some. There's been some unboxings and stuff in France and everything. But it looks pretty cool. Looks interesting. Um, I'd be interested to see if there's the same level of like synergistic combos like we saw all over the place. I mean, there's some obvious stuff like. Garvin for Rebels is like fantastic. Mm -hmm. I think the new, new uh, wing tool mechanics pretty interesting. I want to see how that all works. Yeah. Talon roll out of this. That's the damaged one. 
That is not. The damaged one, I think, is up at the top. Right, okay. So this is going to be a big first game for Brent because only losing 13 points of MOV. Real good MOV. Is, that's pretty good for a uh, um, Swarm to start out with. Oh, yeah. And Brent actually missed the cut at uh, GMI's hyperspace trial. He mm. was 18. Um, I think he missed the cut by like 20 MOV or something like that. Now our clock isn't exactly in time with the the actual players upstairs, so we're not sure how close they are. Uh, might be within a minute or two, though. I think. Interesting, he didn't move that guy first and keep the other one from bumping. Maybe he wanted to keep that angle. Stay back a little bit. Stuff, yeah. You can always borrow someone else's calculate, I guess. You can borrow this guy's calculate. I think how they did the Separatist and the Calculate Action 2.0 is really interesting. Like, it gives some gameplay decisions, and then the Force is thematic, but it's like essentially the same thing, just doesn't cost an action. Interesting on the K turn there. Well, they don't have a one straight. If he wanted to move one forward and block, that's his only option. True. We're gonna see K turns at a, at a mat here. Or is he doing hard turns and trying to go after that damaged droid? K turns. Almost certain. Or he's trying to hyperspace out of there. Nope. Jessica, like my astromech wrecking streak will not end today. Bye, suckers. <laughs> I think BB-8 should work on uh, all moves, not just blue moves, like for two charges. On some ships, it's like as much as like advanced sensors. Supernatural is like way up there, but this is, I don't know, it doesn't seem like you get that much value. Like Jess gets more value because she can use her ability with it. But on most ships, I think it should cost a little bit cheaper. Has anyone that you've seen considered a BB-8 uh, droid on the uh, transport? It's blue moves are pretty limited, mm -hmm. but it'd be hilarious to see that big old thing do a barrel roll. Barrel roll. <laughs> you said you've been flying Leia a lot in the transport, or just the transport itself? Covenel with Leia and uh, M9G8. Um. Or R and R two astromech. So it looks like Matt was doing the three talon because he uh, stressed there. Ah, okay. Matt can get some points. Range one. Fair hits. Yeah, use the calculator, there's no consequences. And the 
make sure you don't get like direct and lose some points. go. Who's he shooting at? Uh, that vulture. So... Is he alive? Not dead. That's what matters right now. Right. I'm not dead yet. Jessica or the other on the T set or the Red Squadron? Two shields. Due to rounding up, Matt has more points for killing two halves of a droid of two droids than just killing one outright. He's got that going for him. I'm not sure which one's shooting, whether if it's the one directly behind him or or what. Because if he made that, the one guy would have a shot. He takes a crit. They're spending... Looks like there's an energy shell charge that never got spent before, so... Oh my, uh, it's through a uh, gas cloud though, so. Ooh, just one. He's uh, munitions fail safe that. I think that's the second time. I'm surprised the munitions fail safe with so much like, not a lot of time left. Quest the time. Like, hope he rolls all focuses or something. Nice. Gets two. Uh, looks like that's the game. We got the handshake. Well, Brent, uh, pretty, uh, pretty resounding win there. Mm -hmm. 120 to 26. And uh, when you look at the count of the ships on the table, uh, it's, uh, it's even worse. Uh, thanks to both our competitors. And uh, we're going to cut this recording and catch you in round two. So we will uh, see you then. <laughs>